What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time on this channel and you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future content. In today's video, we went to Funko Hollywood and guess what for? We went to finally pick up this little guy. So let's go ahead and get this one started. saw in those clips the line got pretty crazy for this pop and a lot of people have been waiting for it even myself we have been anticipating this pop ever since it was shown it's a really awesome figure i'm actually not a fan of the spastic plastics but once i saw this pop i absolutely wanted it and i love the fact that it was actually a contest winner and they made this pop out of his artwork and on the back it says the winner's name jacob martindale from texas so there on the back it says it all super awesome i love this figure we're definitely gonna get a closer look i also want to share a couple of other pops i did pick up so let's go ahead and share those as well so i think it was my last video i actually mentioned me and my girlfriend really want to collect some of the harry potter pops and we actually picked up three pops today from funko hollywood now these are commons but we've actually been wanting these they're super cute here's the first one we have and it is harry potter's patronus and it's really awesome. Now, I remember they actually had like a re pre-release sticker for all three of these, but I don't really care for those stickers. It's the exact same pop. And this is a super awesome pop and definitely a great start for the collection. I'm excited to grow the collection a little more once we actually build the space, but we went ahead and picked these up. That's the first one we got. And then we also got Ron Weasley's Patronus as well. Super cute. Once again, they do have the pre-release sticker on all three of the Patronus. And I really like this one though. This one might be my favorite of the three. And I do really like Ron Weasley. He's probably one of my favorite characters from Harry Potter. But this one looks fantastic. And then the last one we have is Hermione's Patronus. And this one looks pretty cute. I think it's an otter. I'm pretty sure it is. And this one's really nice too. But like I said, I really like Ron's the most. I think that one looks the best, especially as a pop. But I really like all three of them. And I am excited to get some more pops for this line. So these are brand new and we bought two of them. It's basically a snow globe with a Funko Pop inside. It's real glass according to the workers. And as you can see, we have 12 different characters that we have as a possibility. And my girlfriend didn't want to wait till we get home. So we're <laughs> going to be opening these up. Well, she's going to be opening them up. I already called dibs on Hedwig if we no. get that. No, no. I'm sorry, but you don't like Harry Potter. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Fun fact, I actually haven't really seen Harry Potter until we started dating. I watched it once, all of them, and I kind of forgot all about it. And then now we're currently re-watching them all, and I'm kind of... You're re-watching them all. I watch them all, all the time. I'm kind of really loving it, and we're sure. thinking about collecting some of the Funko Pops. Should I open the bottom or the top? It doesn't matter. We're not going to keep the box. So we're thinking about collecting it once we actually make some space. Because right now, as you guys know, I have 900 Funko Pops. No space for any more. And I definitely want to get some more. <laughs> Why is it packed like that? They're trying to Wait, like Wait, I think you. it's a Weasley as I see red hair. If it's Ron, I'm keeping it. It's Ron. It's oh mine. my God. Oh, look, it's so Let me cute. See it. There's like Look, that's art on Hedwig. It. Oh my God. And then He's it's Hogwarts. He's wearing his dress right? robes. This one's mine. No. Yes. All right, open Wait, the next the glow one. the globe is really cute. Shake it. I have like, it's like an actual snow off. globe. There you go. Oh my god, that's mine. Uh, can for we sure. go back and get more? Maybe. Wait, it's like wiggly. Well, there's a line. Is Do you really want to wait? Wiggly? Do you want to wait in line though? I don't care. 
That's really cool, actually. How much was it? Seven dollars. Seven dollars. I don't know, actually. Great quality for seven dollars. It's not bad. Was it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll open that one soon. Not bad. We got Ron. I love Ron. This one's harder. So there's all the details on the globe base. Mm, it looks really nice, actually. I wonder if the base is the same for all of them. Probably, huh? They wouldn't yeah, go all out and change the base. Yeah, it's all the same on the picture. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. It would be cool if they made bigger ones. Okay, ready? But I don't know if they actually have any bigger ones. Ready, all right. Ready, ready. What's that one? What's that one? Shit, is it Ron Are again? Oh my god. Why? How is it possible to get two Rons? Whatever. I don't mind oh, Rons. Wait, we'll Rons cool. Rons one look. out of six. It's a one out of six. Oh, look. Is that Snape? Yeah. yeah. Snape and I Dobby are one out of 36. Who's this one? That's Lu Luna. Oh, Luna? I just realized they're all wearing like the special oh my god. Christmas outfits. I want like, I want Fox. I want Snape. I just I want, want Hedwig. Hedwig and I want Luna. But Ron is cool, but why do we have to okay, get two? Okay, but I don't want two. <laughs> what are we going to do with the extra? We didn't really notice in the beginning, there's Hagrid's hut with Fang. Which, by the way, we want that pop. We're just going to wait it out. No and then there's also the Whomping Willow. And then there's, and the then castle. there's obviously the and castle. Then and then we have Hedwig. And then where they play Quidditch. Oh, yes, the Quidditch area. That's actually really nice. So as you guys saw in that clip I just shared, my girlfriend was not patient enough to wait till we got home to make this video and unbox these. But these are super awesome. I wish we got some more because we ended up getting the exact same one twice. But I'm happy we got Ron because he's adorable. Hopefully in the future we could get some of the rarer ones. We didn't even realize how many of them are actually rare. And we were kind of upset we got two Rons. But then we realized we are going to end up having two Rons in a full box. We ended up getting two of them in the same case. So the chances for that were pretty high. Outside of that Funko Hollywood haul, I actually came home to a couple of other new pops in the mail. And we got three new pops today. This is the first one I have to share with you guys. Right over here, we have Sylvester from Looney Tunes dressed up as Batman. This one looks really cool. It's definitely my favorite one so far from the DC Looney Tunes pops I have received. So far, we got Taz, Bugs Bunny, and now we have Sylvester. This one looks really cool. I love the pose, and I just like everything about it. This one just looks amazing, and I'm excited to see the rest of them in the set once they arrive, but so far we've got three of them, and I believe we're just waiting on two more. The next pop I have to share with you guys is another awesome pop to share during this time of Halloween season. We've got Edward Scissorhands with Kirigami Walmart exclusive. Now, I'm not sure if I said that word right. I've never really heard of it. I know of origami, but I don't know if Kirigami is the right way to say this, but this pop looks really cool. They do have a couple of others in this line. I am not planning on collecting them. I just really wanted this one just because I like the way it looks. And it's a pretty cool exclusive. So that's definitely one of the newer pops that I am excited for. The last pop I have to share with you guys is probably my favorite one from today's haul. I know it's kind of crazy after sharing that Hollywood exclusive to say this one's my favorite. But I absolutely love this video game. And when I saw this pop, I was so excited. Now we've got Ratchet and Clank. These look amazing. My only thing that I would say would have made it better is if they did it kind of like how they have Spyro with Sparks in one box and then Sparks is a mini pop. They should have done that with Ratchet and Clank because Clank is not the same size as Ratchet in the video game. But I still really love this pop and it looks amazing. I hope they do Jack and Dexter in the future. That would be awesome to see in the future. But I'm, I'm guessing that they did this. They're definitely going to bring that out in the future as well. Now, the box on the back, it just says PlayStation, and it shows Ratchet and Clank. I wish they did something a little more creative with the box art, but, however, I do really like these pops. They look phenomenal. So the artist did not only do a great job with the artwork for this pop, but also the name suits it perfectly. He is definitely cute, and he is obviously a candy corn, ready to go trick-or-treating. He's enjoying the chocolate bar, and he also has his trick-or-treating bucket as well in his hand. And on the back, the artwork is really awesome. And it says, Jacob Martindale, the winner from Texas. And he also wrote a little bit of something. He wrote, I've always been drawn to the aesthetic of Halloween ever since I was a kid. I wanted to find a way to mesh those elements with the childlike lead that comes with dressing up and trick-or-treating. Cutie Corn is the perfect embodiment of all these elements. 
And then it says Cutie Corn once again. I absolutely love this. It is really cool. I hope they do some more of these winning contests that make a Funko Pop. That'd be great. But once again, here are all the pops we're going to be taking out of the box to take a closer look. I decided we're not going to be taking out the Patronus Pops just because those have been out for quite a while already. So most of you have already seen them out of the box, but these are all pretty new. So let's go ahead and take a closer look in three, two, one. And they are out. These pops look amazing. I must say Ratchet and Clank look really cool. The only problem is that Ratchet's not really standing up. He kind of falls over. But other than that, they look great. Cutie Corn is obviously super cute. Sylvester as Batman looks super cool. I love the pose on that pop. And then Edward Scissorhands, he's okay. He doesn't look that great. But still a pretty cool pop. These pops look great. Now let's go ahead and get a good 360 spin. So the first pop we're gonna be going ahead and getting a 360 spin is Ratchet. Now this pop looks pretty cool. I'm actually surprised I got to have him standing up without falling over. You can see his pose, oh. As you can see, I jinxed it and he did fall over. I think I got him this time. And he has his wrench in his hand, but this pop looks pretty awesome. I love the details on it. Definitely a super cool looking pop, but like I said, it would have been awesome if Clank was smaller. But nonetheless, I love them. The next one we have is Clank. And I actually love the pop. It looks super cute. And the details on it look fantastic. Jack and Dexter would be awesome to see in the future. Hopefully they actually do that since we got Ratchet and Clank. But just look at the details on this one. It's actually pretty shiny. I love the finish of this pop. The details look great. That's probably why they didn't make him a mini to go with Ratchet, like I said. But... I'm just glad they finally made these because this game is amazing. The next one we have is Edward Scissorhands exclusive to Walmart. This one looks okay. It's not the best looking pop and I don't really have too many movie exclusive pops. This is one of my very few and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I don't know. Like I just got this one for fun to be honest and I saw it. I was like it looks pretty cool so I grabbed it but there it is. And here we have Sylvester dressed up as Batman. Super awesome looking pop. I actually think this one looks great. This whole set is actually pretty cool. I love this pose he has. And I also love that he's holding the cape on the back side. It just looks really cool. And I can't wait to see the rest of the set. They look great. Now here we have the main star of today's video. We've got Cutie Corn who is definitely super cute. In one hand he's holding a chocolate bar. Which he actually took a bite out of. And he, you could see by his facial expression. He's still chewing on the chocolate. Super happy. He's dressed up as a skeleton. And in one other hand, he's holding a pumpkin bucket for trick-or-treating. How awesome is this? And this pop is exclusive to Funko Hollywood. Now, I'm not sure exactly how that works because it did release on pop culture as well. And there's another picture of it with a Funko Shop sticker, not a Funko Hollywood sticker. So people are guessing they might release it on Funko Shop as well. We'll see how that works out, but this pop is definitely super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of all the pops I shared today. Also, let me know which of the pops was your favorite in today's video. I also want to thank you all that have subscribed to this channel and show your support. We are about to hit 800 subscribers, which is amazing. Hopefully soon we can hit that 1,000. So if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and join in on the fun. Let me know what you guys would enjoy seeing my next videos. Thank you all for watching and peace.